worry about number seven. Hey, that's where he has his command center, doesn't it? The city's new $13 million high-tech emergency operations center. My director of emergency management recommended seven World Trade Center. Did you personally favor putting OEM where it was situated? Absolutely. It was a virtual command center, and it was selected because that's where all the federal agencies were. The Secret Service and the CIA were both located in that building. We talked to them. We did extensive security studies of the building. You know, the bottom line is um, it, it, that building was one of the safest buildings that we could find. The Office of Emergency Management office, that bunker, it's a pretty elegant bunker, and nor is it underground. It was second and third floor, right. I think. That's out of operation at the moment. Yeah. Rendered useless. Um, my Do you know what has happened to it today? Do you know yeah. precisely what's happened? To I it? talked to some folks down there, and my understanding is that a lot of the debris has fallen and uh, has blocked uh, the access to the building. Um, I've heard some uh, reports that the, they're concerned about the structural stability of the building. Jerry, you, uh, I believe, were instrumental in, in setting up a state-of-the-art uh, right. uh, disaster anti-terrorism center, which was right. located in, in the World Trade Center, correct? It's seven World Trade Center. Have we lost that now? We have. Your emergency command center, what some people have called a bunker, is, was located, was it not, in one of the World Trade Center buildings? Uh, it was located uh, close enough to it so that it was affected by it. Not in, it's not, not in one of the buildings, but it was located uh, right in that area, as, as is uh, City Hall, the police department, and all of them had to be evacuated. He decided to work out of 75 Barclay, a nearby building, where the police set up their makeshift command post. He headed there. Did you go immediately to the Office of Emergency Management? So I, I went down to the scene and we set up uh, headquarters at 75 Barclay Street, which was right there with the police commissioner, the fire commissioner, mm -hmm. the head of emergency management. And we were operating out of there when we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse. And it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. And that is the building, Todd, am I correct in saying, where the emergency management operation was located? Not, not right now, but... Uh, there have been some reports of that yeah. earlier, but uh, it's since been told that's not the case. Again, the mayor and New York City staff yeah, going elsewhere right. to uh, do their emergency management work. The mayor who's claiming to run on 9-11 built his OEM center, his communication center, the basis for all decisions to be made on the site of the World Trade Center that had been attacked just eight years earlier. Mr. Mayor, 7 World Trade Center has already uh, uh, fallen down one of the buildings that has collapsed. It houses OEM, several federal agencies, and within OEM, your bunker, your, your spot where you're supposed to be safe during emergency situations, what goes through your mind now that that's gone? I thank God that I'm, that I'm safe. I feel terrible for the people that, that we lost, some of whom I talked to just 15 minutes before we lost them. And as far as we know, everyone had been evacuated from the building a little earlier. I feel terrible for the people that, that we lost, some of whom I talked to just 15 minutes before we lost them. And as far as we know, everyone had been evacuated from the building. I feel terrible for the people that, that we lost. So everyone had been evacuated. Some of whom I talked to just 15 minutes before we lost them. Ironically, that's the home to the city's emergency operations center. That's the bunker that uh, was supposed to be impervious to almost any attack in the place where they would coordinate response to something like this. And uh, they are without that today and uh, clearly without that permanently. Feeling that loss significantly, no doubt, in, in the city's attempts to organize and coordinate the rescue efforts. Also some Secret Service uh, offices in Building 7 at the World Trade Center. And that is also the building, isn't it, that the, the Mayor's Emergency Operations Command That's Center is in? That's where the quote-unquote bunker is in. The bunker. That would be the place to direct all of this exactly. activity in the case exactly. of a major emergency such as this one. I was just uh, thinking that the, if I'm not mistaken, uh, remember several years ago, uh, Mayor Giuliani moved the Emergency Management Office. Uh, to uh, one of the higher, uh, to the 30th floor or around that area of one of the towers of the World Trade Center, and that's indeed the brain of all the emergency management mm -hmm. activity. And now, I believe, though, that's in one of the other towers. Ollie, can you talk to that? Uh, Ollie, can you hear me? I hear you, Jim. Uh, uh, Dave brought up the point that the mayor's uh, emergency management office, the so-called bunker, is in one of the towers of the World Trade Center, but I b don't believe it's one of the two top ones. World Trade Center 7, that houses OEM, the Office of Emergency Management. The bunker is in there. I think one of the ironies um, about this is that the multi-million dollar emergency system uh, that was inaugurated, I think, about a year ago, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit longer, is located where? in the World Trade Center, right. uh, and therefore uh, rendered fairly uh, useless uh, today, and they've moved to other locations temporarily. One of my deputy directors 
got on the radio and told me we'd just been ordered to evacuate the building. That building was the home of Shearer's state-of-the-art emergency operations center, a bulletproof bunker designed to weather hurricanes, blackouts, and bombs. It was a dazzling array of manpower and technology, workspace for 58 government agencies, computers pinpointing every sewer line and subway tunnel, hotlines to the police and fire departments. But on September 11th, there was just one problem. The $13 million facility was located on the 23rd floor of 7 World Trade Center, and Shearer's staff had to evacuate. When we lost uh, the city's emergency operations center, that was the one thing we needed the most, and we didn't have it. 7 World Trade Center, the home of Shearer's prized operations center, collapsed. Somebody comes in and says, don't worry about number seven, it's gone. The city's new $13 million high-tech emergency operations center. The city is better prepared than it ever has been in its history. The new facility is located in downtown Manhattan, across the street from the World Trade Center's Twin Towers. The command center on the 23rd floor is bulletproof and bomb resistant, with its own air supply and generators. It's linked to city airports, the Coast Guard, and the Pentagon. Computers will soon have detailed blueprints of every major building in New York City, as well as evacuation routes. Hurricanes and heat waves would be handled here, as well as terrorist attacks. Shortly after the bombing of the World Trade Center, New York City scrapped its existing emergency plans and began writing new ones. A couple of years later, following the bombing of the federal building in Oklahoma City, Congress passed a law calling for 120 of the nation's largest cities to be prepared for terrorist attacks. I think New York City is very ready, very prepared. Though New York officials say their facility is not impenetrable, they're confident it could handle even the worst crisis imaginable.